showing you guys some of the makeup products that I have purchased these past few weeks. Just a disclaimer, I'm not talking about these to brag in any way, shape, or form. A lot of these are very affordable and are from the drugstore, so I thought that sharing the things that I bought with you guys would help, especially if you are looking for very affordable makeup products. Let's get started! Let's get it started! Let's get it started! Okay, let's start with the things that I bought from Miniso. I got these two brush sets from Miniso. One is a face brush set and one is an eye brush set. They look exactly like the Real Techniques brushes, but I got this for 350 pesos and it comes with a bag. And I got this for about 200 pesos, I think, which is so cheap compared to the Real Real Techniques brushes. These brushes are really, really good. They're really soft. I highly recommend these brushes. You can get them from the first Miniso store ever here in the Philippines, which is in Robinsons, Manila. Now let's move on to the stuff I got from Divisoria. I got these paddle brushes from a store called Glad King. You will never, ever believe how much I got these for. 150 pesos. 150 pesos to. 150 pesos. Stuff. I honestly see people that sell these online for 450 pesos. You will find the Star Glad King in the first floor of 999 Mall. It's somewhere near the right entrance, I believe. But if I'm wrong, just look for it in the first floor. It's somewhere there. Now let's move on to my purchases from SM Department Store. Napansin niyo ba na hilig ko mang ganto? <laughs> I got a lot of lip products and I got one concealer from SM Department Store. I got this liquid lipstick from Jazzy France. It's called the Lustrous Lip Gloss in Ice Princess. The name is kind of puzzling to me because it's not a lip gloss at all. It's a liquid lipstick. It's a very flattering nude shade. I got this for only 299 pesos, which is so cheap for a liquid lipstick. Their liquid lipsticks also come in a lot of different shades. I I saw some very nice mauvey pinks there and a lot of deep reds and they're all so nice so you have to check them out. The next lip product that I got is this Pinkies Collection lipstick in the shade Bark. I have heard that it's sold out in a lot of places because it's really really nice. I bought mine in SM Department Store's MOA branch. It's a nice pinkish brown. It's a shade that will suit everyone. I got this for 199 pesos. Sobra mura nun. Pak ganern. <laughs> On a scale of pack to ganern, sobra pack ganern. <laughs> The next lip product that I got is from Everbelena and it's their matte lipstick in Toast of New York. This is also a Filipino YouTuber favorite and I get the hype. It's so pretty. It's like a rusty red color. I got this lipstick for 165 pesos. It's the cheapest lipstick in this whole haul. It smells like buko pandan. The next lip product that I got is from Features and Shades, which used to be called Fanny Serrano Cosmetics, but they're now called Features and Shades, and I got this lipstick in the shade Matte Twig. This is so nice. I am wearing this today with the Jazzy Friends liquid lipstick. It's only 299 pesos. The packaging is so interesting. It comes in this spring-loaded tube, which you can just press. And then it comes right out and you can pull it right out. It also comes with a really long mirror at the side. That's very convenient, especially if you don't have a mirror with you. This is probably the most unique lip product packaging I've ever seen. If you find this in any SM department store near you, I think you should get it because it's worth the price. The last thing that I got from SM Department Store is this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 35 Deep Fonts. Fonte? I'm sorry if I'm saying this wrong. I am wearing this concealer on my face today. It's my new holy grail concealer because I like the way it feels on my face. It's so much lighter than my LA Girl concealer. This can cover anything. Kung malapit lang ako sa inyo ngayon, makikita nyo. Those are all the things that I got from SM Department Store. So let's now move on to the makeup products that I got from Bench. I got these two eyeshadow palettes from Bench. One is in Fancy 
Nude and one is in Simply Nude. Both of these palettes contain neutral shades. These are so, so, so affordable. I got these for 229 pesos each. The pigmentation is very good for its price. I highly recommend that you check this out if you ever visit a bench store. I got this eyeshadow stick for 199 pesos. It's so pigmented. I tried swatching it in the bench store. Tapos nakanood na ako ng sine, kumain na ako ng dinner, naka-uwi na ako. Nandiyan pa rin siya. Ganto pa rin yung itsura niya. Amazing. I highly, highly recommend this and I got this in the shade Sandstone. The last thing that I got from Bench is this black gel eyeliner. I got this for 139 pesos. It's so cheap, so mind-blowingly cheap and it's so, so good. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. Look at that! Look at that pigment though! I swatched this together with the eyeshadow stick and nakakain na ako, nakanood na ako ng sine, nakauwi na ako. I'm dyan pa rin siya. Black na black pa rin siya. Black ganun. You should get it. I got the gel eyeliner in the shade Deep Black. So those are all the products that I got from Bench. Now let's move on to the makeup products that I bought online. All of these makeup products are from online stores but you can also get them in Unicube which is is a store in University Mall Taft. It's my favorite store for buying makeup because it's so near my school. I got these two Korean lip products from Little Korea PH on Instagram. I will leave a link of their shop down below. I got this Yes Enjoy Time Very Merry Tint in the shade Or Cherry Blossom. It's not drying and the color is really nice. It looks like you sucked on a very pigmented strawberry lollipop. The next lip product that I got from Little Korea PH is this Tony Moly Panda's Dream Pocket Lip Balm. It's 300 pesos. It's so cute! The packaging is not the only great thing about this lip balm. It's actually the best lip balm I've ever tried. I have perpetually dry lips and this saved my lips. Without it, I think my lips would still be really really dry but now my lips are perfectly fine. It also smells like peach mango pie from Jollibee. Those are all the things that I got from Little Korea PH and now let's move on to the stuff that I got from Hot Finds Manila on Instagram. I got this NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator in the shade Gleam. I got this for 480 pesos. I think this highlighter would be great for going to the beach or for parties and I think this color goes very well with my skin tone since I am tan. I also got this City Color palette. I really like this because it comes with a contour powder, a bronzer, blush, and a highlighter all in one palette. I find that very handy, especially for traveling. I also like that its packaging is very slim. It's kind of like a CD. I use this a lot. It's only 480 pesos and you get a lot of product from it. I also got this Ellie Girl Inspiring Brow Kit in Medium and Marvelous. I'm sorry if it's dirty. I use this all the the time it comes with wax, a highlighting powder, and two brow powders. One taupey brown one and one dark brown one. I lost the brush inside this but I hope I find it because it's really good and it also comes with tweezers which is very handy. It's only 420 pesos and it comes with a lot of stuff inside. Very worth its price. Those are all the stuff that I got from online stores and now I will be showing you guys a very nice drugstore palette that I got from StyleCon Asia. The palette is called the Eye Candy Eyeshadow Palette from Pink Sugar. I used some of the colors on my eyes today. I love it because the colors are so nice and the shadows are so buttery. I believe you can get this from SM department stores for only 600 to 700 pesos. Alright, so those are all the stuff that I got. I hope you guys like this video. If you have any video suggestions, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!